Hi everyone, it's Lindy. I'm here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I thought it would be fun to talk about extending out our holiday images and using them for other things. I know if you're like me, you have a lot of leftover Christmas cards that you've created or leftover projects or stamps that you didn't get around to using. And I thought it would be fun to show you how I simply and quickly converted this Christmas card, which I had some of these left over, into some Valentine cards that I can use for Valentine's Day this year. You can see that card here as well. So I started showing the Christmas card and then we transitioned into the Valentine card. And at the end, I'll show you both of these up close. So let's start by taking a look at today's image. I'm going to be using the Penny Black Darling Delivery Stamp Set. This comes with a couple of cute sentiments, and we'll be using those on our Christmas card. And then you can see that the packaging also includes some ideas for coloring in your images. What I wanted to show you is that I placed a sticky mat in my Misty Stamp Positioner. You get three mats in this packaging. One is a quarter inch grid, a eighth inch grid, and a half inch grid. We're gonna use that quarter inch, but any of these would be fine. You just slide it right into your Misty, and now that gives you a nice sticky surface to place your paper on. So we really don't need the magnets at this point. For ink today, I'm using the VersaFine Onyx Black Ink, and for paper, I'm using the Strathmore Bristol Smooth 100 pound cardstock. I'll just press that out with my Stampendable Stamp Press, and I'm going to start my coloring with a sugared almond pink. And then I'm switching over to mustard and sand to color in this first little bear. I'm using the Zig, these are the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens, and I'm using the Zig Blender Pen to do my blending. And all of the colors I'm using today will be listed up in the upper left-hand corner as we go along. And just going back to talking about that sticky grid map, that's gonna come in very handy later on. We're going to be doing a bold prints background using a Hero Arts stamp, which is a super large six by six stamp. And by using that sticky grid mat, it's going to hold that paper down. We won't need any magnets because the stamp itself is going to be a bit larger than the paper that we're using. So we don't want any magnets to be in the way. So I've been finding that these sticky mats are really useful and very helpful, especially in certain projects. So once you've placed it in there, it's also very easy to clean, and I'll show you that a little bit later on. Just a little bit of water and a dry towel, and you can wipe away any ink that you get on there. Now you can store it with that clear acetate packaging that comes with it. I do, I like to slide them right back into the, uh, the package that they came in, but you certainly don't have to do that. You can just keep it right in your Misty at all times and just close the lid on your Misty and you're all set to go. So now for, for all the supplies that I'm using today, all the products and supplies, they will all be listed down below and also on my blog. So everything would be listed and linked for you if you are interested in anything. You can just check there. So now I, I mentioned earlier that I'm using the Zig Blender Pen to do my blending, but you could certainly use a water brush here as well. I did lighten up the colors a little bit for the little uh, female bear, and then for the male bear, I went with a little bit darker shade. Again, you could refer to the packaging that came with this set for some coloring ideas and for some shadowing ideas. Now I've switched to that deep red and we'll color in this little mailbox in that beautiful red. This is one of the newer Zig colors and it's just really pretty. So I'll just add some shadows here and there. And again, the whole goal of this is just really to have you take a look at your images in a different way. I, I feel like what we purchase, the dyes, the stamps, all the products that we purchase are an investment. And I like to make sure that when I make that investment that I have other ways that I can use these products. So I typically tend to buy things that I know I can use in multiple ways. 
And once this was done as a Christmas card, I really thought, gosh, this would just be the cutest little Valentine card. So again, with a few changes, we're going to be using some sticker sheets from Tim Holtz. And really, it won't take much to convert this into a Valentine card. So dig through your stamp sets, dig through what you had left over from Christmas, maybe some projects, and see what you can do. It's a lot of fun just to stretch your imagination and see what you can come up with. So I've switched over to the sand color just to color that little opening at the top of the mailbox there. And then I'm going to do the little boy bear scarf in a blue-gray color. I didn't want anything too bright for the blue. I wanted to keep it fairly muted there. And then we'll use a pink tone on her little scarf. For the shadowing on the snow, I'm using the haze blue, which is a really light blue. It gives it kind of a frosty look. And I'm going to add a little bit of that here for shadowing on the snow. And then I'm using that sugared almond pink again on her scarf. Now I'm adding some red to the little berries. And I was also going to mention if it bothers you that those little holly berries are on your Valentine card, you could always cut those away. So you could cut those off when you do your Valentine card. So that's one little thing that you could start by doing. So keep that in mind. You don't have to keep the image exactly the way it is. You could always just cut off those little leaves and berries. But I didn't mind that. I thought it just, I liked adding that little bit of green. I thought it added a little bit more interest to the card. And again, as I said earlier, my cards, I had a few leftovers that were already completed. So I just decided to just do what I could to convert them into Valentine cards, just the way they were. Now up top here, that little bird is holding on to some mistletoe. And in our Valentine card, we're going to switch that up to a little heart. I'm using the aquamarine blue to color in the little bird. And let me give you a closer look at this colored in. And this is just the sweetest little image. I love the penny black bears. I don't know what it is about them. I just think they're so cute. There's a whole bunch of different designs. And there's something about them that always draws me in. So I'm using my detail scissors. I'm going to cut around this entire piece, just leaving a little white border all the way around. So now let's set that aside. And I've got a piece of cardstock. Again, I'm using the Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. Now here's where you'll see the sticky grid mat is going to come in handy. Now for this purpose, I don't need this mat. The stamp we're using is going to be a thick rubber stamp. So we need to remove that, that mat from the Misty stamp positioner. And this is the Hero Arts Bold Prints stamp. And this is a six by six stamp set. So this is a cling stamp. And this one is called Snowflake Swirl. So what I've done is I'm going to place that to completely cover that piece of cardstock. And then using my Stormy Sky Distress Oxide ink from Tim Holtz, I'm going to go ahead and ink up this entire stamp. And you can see that the image is mostly solid. So it's, it's a reverse image where most of the image is going to be that solid background. And the area of the paper underneath that's going to show through is where those little snowflakes are. So since the ink doesn't go on completely even, I'm using a little sponge dauber and I'm just going to tap around that ink just to even things out a little bit. Going back to my Stampendable stamp press, and you do want to press down rather firmly here if you can. Otherwise, you can stamp it multiple times. And for these large images, I know they can be frustrating to stamp, but don't get discouraged. It is very helpful to use your stamp positioner because then you can come at it a couple of times 
two or three times if you need to. And it does allow you really some time to play around with this. And again, I'm just using that sponge dauber just to even out the ink a little bit. And now you can see that we have this beautiful stamping. So I'll just remove that from the sticky mat. And here's where I just wanted to show you. I just spritz this sticky mat with a little bit of water, brush it off with my towel, and I'm all set to go. So I'll quickly heat set this background, and then we'll start with another color around the edges. And this is the Chip Sapphire Distress Oxide Ink from Tim Holtz. And I'm using a blending brush from the Hero Arts Collection to add that color around the edges of this cardstock. And I'll just do it darker around the edges and then pull it in a little bit just to blend it out. That's going to draw your eye in towards the center. And then we're also going to be adding a little bit of black to this. So I'm using the black soot. This is also one of the Distress Oxide inks. I'm using a smaller blending brush. And I'll, I'm using that smaller brush because I don't want too much ink around the edges. I just want a little bit of a shadow here all around all four sides. So once I completed that, I'm going to add a little bit of spattering to this. So what I'll do is spritz my glass media mat with a little bit of water for my Distress Sprayer. I'm taking a small paintbrush and I'm just going to spatter that water all over this panel. And that's just going to add a little bit more interest, a little bit more, more the look of snowflakes in the background. And then I'm using that paper towel just to blot up any of that water. And next, to create some little snow banks, we're using the Creative Dyes from Penny Black. And this one, you can see, cuts and separates that card panel all in one die cut. And it's called the Wavy Stitched Edge. And you can see there what it does. You can just separate it on your card and put a sentiment or a scene behind there. But today, we're just going to use these individual pieces. And I'm cutting those down to four and a quarter inches so that they'll fit right on our panel. And then I'm just lining those up, just two little snow banks, one in front of the other. So I'm using my Tim Holtz paper trimmer just to trim those down. But that's a really fun die if you want to create a really interesting card. But for, like I say, for today, we're just going to use it as our snow border. I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, and I'll just glue these two together. And then we can set that aside to dry. So we're going to be using the two sentiments from this set. And one we're going to create a banner out of, and the other one we're going to stamp right on those snowy borders. This set here is called the Everyday Sentiment Banner Die Set, and that's from Lawn Fawn. So we'll set that aside for now while we go ahead and stamp that first sentiment and that's going to say, just the first of many presents. I've placed it on that sticky grid mat. I've placed that foam pad back in my Misty because obviously this stamp is not a thick rubber stamp like the other one was. So you want to put that little foam pad back in your Misty. And then we'll go ahead and ink that up again using the VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And we can stamp that. And then for the other sentiment, again, we're going to be using the, those banner dies. And that sentiment says a special delivery. So I'm just going to stamp that right onto a piece of white cardstock. And then we'll be using the sentiment banner die to cut that down. And that'll give us that nice finished edge to this. And I don't need the whole thing. I just want that little bow tie section to be off to the right hand side there. So we'll go ahead and run that through the Sizzix Sidekick machine. And then we can cut this down to size. And 
and I'm cutting it to the approximate size at this point. I'm not exactly sure, so we'll set that aside and create our card base. This paper measures 11 inches by four and a quarter inches, and I'm scoring it at five and a half inches. So we'll have a standard A2 size top folding card. I've just pressed that out with the bone folder. And now we can go ahead and attach our snowy background onto the front of our card. And now we can go ahead and attach the little snowy borders. And now for this little image, I want it to be sitting on that snow bank. So I was playing around with trying to tuck it in behind that first snow bank. And then I decided that that one little envelope was getting hidden. So I'm just going to cut this a little bit just so I can pop that out in front. So I'll just cut a couple little slits in there. Just so again, I can slide it up over that snow bank. So you might just need to play around with that just a little bit here. Now I can go ahead and glue that down. And again, this, these little guys are just so sweet. They're so cute. So now once I have that glued down, we can just determine the placement on this little banner. I'm going to pop that up using some scotch foam mounting tape. And then I did decide to add a little bit of that blue that I had left over on that sponge dauber from inking up that bold print image. I'm just going to sponge what I had left on that sponge dauber right around the edges. Now we can go ahead and attach this to the card. And then what I can do is just cut away any excess there. And I'll use my Tim Holtz titanium scissors to do that because I'll cut right through without any of that adhesive sticking to my scissors. And I'll just finish up by touching up the edges of that sentiment. So now I've got some really pretty sequins. These are from Picket Fence Studio. And I'm going to take the little snowflake ones. They're like little iridescent snowflakes. They're just so pretty. And I'm going to pop those all over the front of this panel. And the next thing I'll grab is my Wink of Stella clear glitter pen and add that clear glitter to all of the little snowy areas on my image. And I added some to her little scarf, just for a little sparkle. Now I've got the Sparklets embellishments. These are from Buttons Galore and more, and these are these really pretty red hearts. I use these a lot. I love these. They're just so, they're just, they just fill in so nicely. And I'm adding three little hearts there. I'm using my Marby Jewel Picker just to pop those in place. So here's the finished look at our Christmas version of this card. And this is just the sweetest little Christmas card. I just love that those snowy borders with that detail. And again, this one says special delivery, just the first of many presents. And then we're going to change that sentiment. So now, as I mentioned before, we're going to add a little heart in the bird's mouth rather than the mistletoe, but you could certainly leave that mistletoe. I just had a little heart from another stamp set that I had, so I stamped it. I cut it out with my scissors. I'm adding a little bit of that sugared almond pink, and then I'm going to glue that at the end of that little branch that that bird is holding.
Now we can add a little bit of the clear Wink of Stella on that heart just for a little bit more sparkle. And then for the sentiment on this card, we're going to be using the Tim Holtz label stickers. This is from the Ideology Collection, and this one is called Sentiments. And you see you get a lot of little cute ones there that would be great for Valentine's. I use these stickers a lot. If you don't have these, these are great to have in your stash. If you just need to fill in or create a really quick birthday card, you have a quick and easy to go sentiment. So I love these things. And what I'm going to do here is grab the one that says sending love and then the XO, XO, and I'll just cut a couple of those off. And I'm going to just, because these are sticker sheets, I'm just going to remove the backing and place that right over the sentiment that's already there. So this is, again, a quick fix for some Christmas cards you may have already created. So I'm just going to pop that sticker right over top. And you can see I've got some other stickers there for some of the other cards that I created that I can go ahead and use uh, to change those sent the sentiment on those other cards that I have. So you could add more to the card if you wanted to. You could use that sticker sentiment in the upper left hand corner over that special delivery. So play around with that. I just wanted to show you an option for changing the sentiment really easily. I'm using my multi-medium matte glue and I'm going to go back to these little icicle sequins and grab one of those little clay snowflakes and I'm going to pop that right over the O in the word love. And so now you can see we have the most adorable little Valentine card. We've got that little heart in the bird's mouth and we've got the cute little sentiment at the bottom that says sending love XOXO. And you could also use one of those stickers on the inside of the card as well. So I'll give you a Another look at the two cards here at the end. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.